Hi, my name is Ryan. My Fabrice wanted me to show you guys how to tear apart a Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the top. We're going to do the right-hand door first. The left-hand door has a water line down at the bottom. So we're just going to come up to the top. We're going to take it off. It's a T30 star bit. Going to take off just the two screws. Always leave your screws and your hinges on the side in which you took it off at so you know where it goes. Remove the door. All right, now from here, we're gonna have to open up the left-handed door. We're gonna take our drill. We're gonna grab our Phillips head bit and we're gonna take off the bottom plate to the refrigerator. While you're taking off the bottom plate, you undo these two screws. This one's already open, but you got to pop it open to be able to remove the plate. Put your bottom plate and your screws off to the side. Come down here. What you need down here is just going to be quarter inch screws. Either you can use a quarter inch nut driver to take off the two screws. What this is going to do is going to release all the wiring and going to release the water line so that you're able to disconnect it to be able to remove the door. If you ain't got a quarter inch, you could use your sleeve or you could pop it out and use the bottom of your drill. Everything is a quarter inch. You're going to remove that screw. You're going to take off the metal piece and the screw and undo the two wires. You're gonna pop the plastic piece back in, off to the side, so you're able to still access your screw. Still gonna need that little plastic piece, don't lose it. Put it off to the side. Down here on the water line has a little clip. It prevents the shark bite from actually being able to be pushed in for it to pop out for any reason. You need to remove it, push down the shark bite, and as you push down, pull on the water line. Releases. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and gonna do the same thing that we did to the right hand door. We're going to shut it so that the door don't fall on you when you unscrew it. Undo your two screws. Pull off your hinge, hold the door so it don't fall. Pull up, remove the door. If need be, if you need to take off the brackets down at the bottom, they're gonna be a 5 16th. You grab your 5 16th bit and just two screws. Do the same thing on the other side. Now your refrigerator is down to nothing. So to put it back together, you're gonna to basically do the opposite. You're gonna do the one with the water line first, and then you're gonna do the right hand side. But to begin, we're gonna put both the brackets back on the refrigerator.
And just oh, yeah. I'll do it in a second. If need be, for any reason, down here at the bottom of it, if the doors are off, it's just a 5 16th, or you could use, you know, pliers or anything. You just pretty much turn it up or down, turn it to the left to lower down the door, turn it to the right to raise up the door if the doors are off adjustment. Or if you need to raise up the entire refrigerator, you put on your 10 millimeter, grab onto this bolt right here, turn it to the left, lowers it. Turn it to the right, raises up the refrigerator. All right, let's start with putting on the water line door. Stop spotting my tools later. <laughs> so for this part, you should have a partner, anybody to kind of hold the door so you can guide the lines and stuff through. But I'm used to doing it by myself, so we'll get it done. First off, you're gonna wanna stake down your wire in. All right, it wants to stay in. and get your little rubber piece down through. If you don't, your water line will not fit. Push it all down through. Make sure the door sits down all the way and close the door. We're gonna come up to the top, put your hinge on. It has little set pieces so it doesn't go nowhere. And then you're gonna replace the screws that you took out earlier. So before putting on the other door, we're gonna reopen up the water line door and we're gonna go back to the bottom to put everything back together. So make sure you have your quarter mill. So first off, you're gonna wanna do your water line. Put your water line in. All you gotta do is just press it so you can't go in any further. Pull on it, make sure it has a good connection that it's not popping out. Replace the plastic piece back onto the water line. This goes behind the blue piece so that it doesn't push in. And it should look just like that when it's all said and done. You're gonna wanna push that back in. Grab the little plastic piece from earlier. Put it back on the water line. And then we're going to put the screw back in. That holds the water line into place so that it's not getting crunched, cut, or anything like that. We're going to pull back out our white piece. They only fit in one spot, so you really can't put it wrong. Now we gotta grab the metal piece. So with this rubber piece, it's gotta go up in the top so that it sits far back and you bend it back over it. You get it flat, put it on the hole so you know where you're going with it. If it wants to line up for two seconds. That's gonna be screwed out of it. So you, you wanna get it through, get your screw, put it right through the hole. You're gonna get down here. You can kind of see where the hole is and where the screw. 
you're gonna wanna try to line it up before you even putting your drill on it. Cause you don't wanna cut this wire right here. It's a ground wire or everything will stop working. pushes everything all back in and before putting on the other door we're gonna put back on the bottom plate you have to kick out the door for the filter that or this will not slide on get it up grab your Phillips head bit put back in the two screws And don't forget to push that back in or you'll get a leak. Last thing is putting back on the right hand door. Like I said, you should always have a part of the door for you. Set it back on. Do the same thing as the other side. Put your bracket and you return your screws to the third place. So much easier when they don't strip out. And that's how you take apart and put it back together a whirlpool.